at in your process right now with the NFL decision? Um, I think I'm pretty much at the same spot I was in the past couple of weeks. I mean, at this time in the bowl season, I'm really just worried about getting better, trying to improve on everything I can up until this game against Texas. Is it tough to balance, though, the bowl preparation, but also waiting to hear back from the NFL and waiting that decision? Um, I don't think it's tough. I think I'm able to really just focus on one thing. I've been That's what I've been trying to do. I mean, I've been looking into the process of evaluation and stuff like that, I'm trying to look at things that, so I get myself, um, just get myself more really just informed with what I'm going to be coming up with and going to be presented with. So that's really what I've been just trying to do, but at the same time, I've just been trying to worry about what I can do to make my team better and make myself better. There's so many projections to see you as a first-round player. Why would you come back? What would be the what would be the pluses in your mind of coming back? I mean, the pluses is living the college experience, and definitely, I mean, projections are something. But you never know until that day when your name's called. So I don't really, I'm not really worried about projections and what somebody says, because I mean. What, do, what influence do they really have? I mean, they might have heard stuff, but at the same time, it could just be all talk. Do you have a, a criteria list <laughs> sort of in your head? Like, this is, this is going to be important, this is going to be the next most important thing. Do you have things like that? Not really, but at the same time, I, I, I really just want to make sure that, the t that I'm just ready to leave, I think. That's going to be the main thing for me. I mean, I'm, I'm still young, and it's going to be difficult, I think, for me being 20 years old getting ready to play in the NFL. I'm going to be underage still. So, I mean, at the same time, I'm, I'm really just going to weigh the pros and cons and just see how that goes. We make a, we get out a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle and make a list, or how do you figure it I think that's going to have, how it's going to have to come down to. I mean, at the bowl game, we have a chance. My sister and brother are going to be there, so I'm going to have, be able to talk to them. I, I would be, I'll probably talk to my parents on the phone, but they're going to be out of the country, so I won't be able to see them at that time, but I think it's really going to come down to just sitting down, talking as a family, and really coming up with something that I really want to go forward with. Do you feel much pressure you know, financially to start making a big paycheck? I mean, to support family or whoever? Nah, I'm I'm not really really worried about financially. I don't really I don't really play the game for money. I mean, it's a great thing to get money, but at the same time, I'm not really worried about <laughs> getting money right now. Some guys, I mean, they know they're going to need to support their parents or support uh, support brothers and sisters. You don't really feel any. I mean, it would be great to help my family. My, I mean, my mom and dad have worked so hard their whole life to provide for me. So it would be great just to for once to help them out. I mean, my mom, she just opened up a new business. So she's been working day in, day out, trying to get that started. So I know she has a lot of stress going on. So, I mean, it would be great to help her out. So, I mean, yeah, I really think it's going to just come down to me. Is it tough for your position in particular? Because it seems like if you're a potential first-round pick, especially at that position, the drop-off if something happens seems like it could be pretty steep and pretty Yeah, severe. I mean, but that's what comes with football. I mean, there could be injuries. You could have a bad game. But that's why I try to just get myself ready for every day and really not worry about, worry about stuff in the future and just worry about the process, I think. I mean, as a defensive back, it is – it's really tough to be a first-round pick, especially. So, I mean, if the opportunity comes, it will be tough to put it down. But at the same time, you can just have to do what's best for me. So if you're going to see your family at the bowl game, do you still think you'll be able to make that decision before the bowl game, or are you going to wait till after it? I think it'll – I don't know. I think it'll be pretty tough. I mean, I could always call them, so I could always Skype, do anything like that. But it's really tough to make a decision without the people that you really care about around you. The fact that like Marcus and a couple of key guys have already announced that they're coming back, does that factor in at all the sense that you have key players that you know you can make a serious run next year? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, even whether Marcus or Ronis came back, I think our team has a lot of players that they can play around. We have a lot of guys that are going to be great players, especially next year, I think with development. But having Marcus back, it just has our leadership and the main leader of our team back, and he's just the type of person that comes with the same effort and intensity every day and really just raises the level of our team's performance. Is this completely a, a personal decision, or who, is there anyone on this team, whether another teammate or staff member, that you talk to a lot of the last week or a couple weeks? I think definitely Coach Neal's um, influence. I mean, he's he's helped me throughout everything I've done here, and he's he has just 
a great mind, I, I would have to say. He's one of the best coaches I've ever been around, and um, he's definitely going to help me through the process. Do you have a favorite NFL team? No. I mean, when I was, when I was younger, I was a, a Falcons fan. But now I just, I just watch it. I don't really have a favorite team. The run defense is something you guys have struggled with down the stretch. Elliott was pretty adamant yesterday that he's going to have you guys ready for Texas when you run the ball. Well, what do you guys have to do to, to really step up the run game, run D? I think we just have to make sure we're work, working on, I would have to say, definitely doing our, our job and not trying to just make a spectacular play. Sometimes it comes down to that, staying in our holes playing into our defense, which is trying to move the ball laterally rather than letting them just knife down the field. So I would think we just have to play to our strengths and make Texas move sideways, and I think we're going to be able to play great run defense. In, in regards to, to Mac Brown leading, I mean, to an extent, I guess you had the speculation with Chip possibly doing thing over you guys in recent years. I mean, how does that affect the locker room? I mean, I don't – as a player, you think about it, but it is – it's different when you actually hear that they're leaving. I remember last year with Chip, it was something that we were pretty sure that he would leave, but at the same time, you, at the back of your head, you were hoping that he would stay and stuff like that. So, I mean, as a player, I think you're really just gonna come out every day and just really worry about being a better player. I think the coaching, usually as players, you usually have the biggest relationship with your position coach. So I think it's a little different with the head coach.